What is going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video of WWE Supercard episode number 9 of season 4, I hope we're at number 9, already 9 episodes guys, absolutely crazy, the first segment guys is going to be really quick, we're going to jump into our battleground pack and then I will come back later on to do the team ring domination, we're going to talk about that afterwards, but as you can see Adam Cole is featuring on there, so he is going to be the Titan card, unfortunately we're not in Titan tier, so anyway, Let's go ahead and claim our battleground pack, guys. We're gonna get guaranteed monster here. Obviously, we're looking for a pro. This it feels nice opening these battleground packs and not having to gamble or worrying about it not being a monster. It's a guaranteed monster. Three, two, one. All right. Oh my God, what? I need to hop in in Discord. All right, guys. I've just opened my pack. I'm recording right now on YouTube. And it is the best possible pack I could open. There's two beasts in here and a monster. Oh, I had two summer slams. Nice. Alright. Oh my god, first beast is Carmella. <laughs> Thank you for Ooh, that. Oh Jesus Christ. Second, oh my god, the second beast is Billy Kay. <laughs> oh my god. Man, what the fuck? Have I seriously no, just no. gotten two females? <laughs> I've got, I've got Billy Kai out of uh, Oh my god, and the monster's a pro, and it is such a good pro! Oh, what a pack! Shinsuke Nakamura! What? That is such a good battle come pack. The luck was on point right there, guys. Nice, well done, mate. Cheers, cheers, alright. Oh my goodness, guys, what a freaking pack, guys. Two female beasts is could, he literally couldn't have got any better than that, and then a sick monster pro. What is that luck? I love it. I love it so much. Sorry, my reaction isn't a lot louder, but I'm trying to not yell. Um, that is insane luck. What? All right. Well, that that is. Um, well, thank you, Battleground, for that. Jeez, two female beasts and a monster pro. Well, I'll take it. Thank you very much, Supercard. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Drop it a like for that amazing luck, and I'll be right back with some Team Ring Domination gameplay. Until then, take care. Yo, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this episode, episode number nine. I'm recording this on a, on a different day than I was at the first segment, and before I even get into the video, there's a huge, huge thing to announce and to just... I know I say this a lot, but I, I mean it so much, guys, and today more than ever, because today, guys, is officially one year since I uploaded my first Season 3 Supercard video, and pretty much since I launched this channel as a, like, a proper thing. One whole year, 365 days of doing Supercard, doing streams, prediction videos from 2K18. It's been so much fun, and I can't wait to do a whole nother year of it and hopefully a lot more than that. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Honestly, like, we're, 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 we're like at 8,300 subscribers. I can't believe it. In a, a year, you, you guys have honestly just blown my mind. It's been incredible and I've had so much fun doing it. So basically what I wanna say is a big, big thank you, guys. Uh, let me know down below in the comments, guys. How many months, has it been a year since you've been watching me almost? Has it, how long has it been? Let me know and I'll try and uh, shout some of you guys out in our next video. But I also wanted to go over the new little segment I do in these videos now, which is the mailbox questions. Um, so today, as it's a special episode, I'm going to go ahead and read all of your mail. Got a couple questions, um, so we're going to go through all of those as soon as the waiting on the network goes and as soon as I can actually get onto mail. Come on, don't do this to me now. <laughs> Not not the not a good time, but uh, yeah, there we go. We're good. Okay, so let's start off with you, uh, Mr. Super Carder, uh, Super Harder. Which is your favorite card design in your full WWE Supercard career? So favorite card design for me, it would have to be probably rest the normal WrestleMania card design, and I really liked Ultimate. Ultimate was very nice when it first came out. I really enjoyed it, and then when it, you know, the more and more it went on, actually, I didn't get bored of it. I still like love that card design. So I'd go WrestleMania, normal Ultimates, and for the new for the new season, I'll do all like season two, season three, and season four. Um, and my favorite season four probably 
probably Monster, actually. I know that was my least favourite going into it, but I think maybe they're my favourite. Maybe Titan. I don't know, probably Monster, actually. So there you go. But my favourite overall is probably got to be that WrestleMania original Season 2 one. So there we go. There's your question answered. Hopefully you watched the video to see it. Um, Nico, a gamer, asks, who's your favourite wrestler of all time? If you do watch my videos or watch my streams, often you will already know that it is... The one and the only, Kurt Angle. Thank you for your question, Nico. Bandways asks, hey Matt, it's Brandon from Livestream. I just wanted to ask, what was your opinion of WWE Super Cup when you first started the game? Um, I loved wrestling, and it was a wrestling game, so I just loved it, and yeah, I got addicted to it straight away. Um, my, what did you exactly say, my opinion of it? Um, just a really fun game, like, yeah, it was the like last couple months of season one, and I remember this this one part in particular getting an ultra rare uh, Seamus from the fusion chamber and I was at work it was my first year working at my swimming at the local swimming pool here uh, where I live and I remember opening it opening that fusion like there when I was at work because it had just finished and I was watching count it I was watching it like countdown it was awesome I remember that for like for pretty much forever that's my first like proper awesome uh, Supercard memory from season one. So anyway, but yeah, my opinion it was just it was a really fun game. Got really addicted to it. Thank you so much for your question, uh, bad boys. The great JBK asks, "Hey Matt, if you had to pick one thing for Supercard to bring in, what would it be?" So I obviously I, I have so many <laughs> so many answers for this one. But if I had to just one thing, um, honorable mentions, bring back the animation uh, pull, the animation uh, thing for when you get your pull. Uh, bring back ad glitch, um, all that good stuff. Maybe even bring back PCC. I'm not gonna say bring back the new King of the Ring because I quite like this King of the Ring. It's just they need to sort out everything wrong with it and then it will be good. Um, but if I had to just bring one thing right now into Supercard, um, oh sorry, there's another huge honourable mention. This is literally number two. Okay, it's a, it's a big honourable mention, but you said to pick one, so I'll get to that one later. But this one is money in the bank when you finish your game just give us a couple picks give us like three or four picks uh count it towards our games played um all that super just do it like it would make money in the bank a hell of a lot funner less of a just agony grind really and help us towards our pull and stuff like that so i'd love that but the main thing if i could choose would definitely be um, a new event, uh, Ring Dom RTG. I want something new. I want it. To, I want to mix it up a little bit because it's doing one every other week isn't just not fun anymore. So a new event is definitely what I want the most. Thank you for your question, the great JBK. Not Jub asks uh, as soon as it loads. So this was really cool. My question is, if there's one thing you can change about season four, what is it? Um, that it wasn't a reset. I, I would have it as a reset. I'd have season four as a reset. And just, yeah, thank you so much, um, you and your son, absolute lads. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It means a lot. Um, Brian asks, um, my question is, what is your favourite uh, event you participated? So my, I had to think about this one because I don't really know, but I didn't really know until I thought about it. And then I thought back about a couple of events. So the main ones was the RD for Bray Wyatt in Season 2 because that was my first event card. I only got a single, but just getting that was <laughs> insane. Uh, I was really happy about that, and then obviously into season three, I became like a real grinder. Got everything, in the, you know, like I, I got the top of all everything I could do, you know, and that was also a challenge. But I think it was more like me confident about doing it. So then I was like, well, what are the events that I really had to struggle with? So the Bret Hart Road to Glory for the Ultimate Bret Hart. That was my first event pro obviously that road to glory i'll never forget i was streaming it it was so much fun um it was just yeah it was just so so awesome it was around christmas time as well i'm pretty sure and i had a lot of fun doing that so i'd say the bray wyatt rd in season two um but the main one was definitely that road to glory for Bret Hart. So thank you, Brian, as well for your question. So sorry for everyone who didn't really care about those answers or questions. Thank you to everyone who put put, put up uh, put up put up with me through those questions. Now, if you wanna also get your questions read in one of these videos, you can go ahead and mail me. No point mailing me like, please put this in your video, pick this, what you know, just all of that. Um, I won't always be reading all of them, so if you like, there's some of them that I'll definitely be missing out. Some of them, if it's like repetition, if I'm kind of already answered it, or questions that you all kind of maybe 
could just watch some other videos to know the answers. I might not answer those all the time. So yeah, if you want to ask your, if you want a chance of getting your question read, just send me, send me a mail. You can do that by going onto my team, clicking on my profile, and hit that little send message icon. So there we go. Now into what is actually important for Supercard, um, but again, I just can't thank you enough, guys. A whole year, it's been great. Um, so. The main thing is my King of the Ring right now. Uh, I am in the final. I'm about to find out if I've lost the first game. I thought I was going to. So that's fine. I am absolutely fine about losing the first game because I still think I might win this. Because if you have a look, he hasn't energized. <laughs> I know I didn't either, but I, 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 I was sleeping and it was like 130 minutes between. The, it was that kind of glitch where it does it, which is really annoying. But let me just show you real quick, guys, this King of the Ring because it was really weird. So this guy didn't energize at all, okay? In all of the games, he didn't energize. So we got an easy win in the semis. In the quarters, look at that. The guy didn't energize either. Also, real quick, I want to add something. Am I the only one who thinks that does not look anything like Lita? I literally looked pictures of Lita. That, I first looked at that and I was like, who the hell is that? Is that like Emma mixed in with like... I, I, I honestly, I couldn't tell for a like, I honestly couldn't tell who that was. And then I asked people on this one, they were like, Lita. And then I saw on one of these matches, it said Lita Salt. So I was like, oh, it's Lita, but it doesn't look anything like Lita. For me, at least. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, again, didn't energise. So very interesting right there. If we go back all the way to here, you can see as well, this guy didn't energise at all either. Um, really interesting. And then we go back all the way to here. Not, not it's that not that guy. Um, this guy, Dale. Dale, look at this. Didn't energize again. Well, obviously that was his first game of our King of the Rings, so of course he's fully energized. But then didn't energize. So I don't understand why no one pretty much has energized in this King of the Ring. I'm pretty sure one person, just one person, was energized here, and that's the guy with the um, Kurt Angle. Yeah. The guy with the Kurt Angle and this guy, they they chart, they uh, they energized once and then just for, and then didn't. They're the only ones in the King of the Ring who did. Really, really weird. I'm praying I can go ahead and win this final, guys, because it's really decent rewards, but you have to win it, of course. So I get a guaranteed monster, and it could be a female. And on top of that, I just get a beast card, which will always help for catalog, for pros, for female, all that good stuff. So. I'm praying. I'm really. I really am. If I do manage to get into it, it will probably be. If I, yeah, if I, if I win it, it will probably be in the next video. So I have stuff in the next video for you guys. Because the third and final part of today's video will be the ring domination for Adam Cole, baby. So I can't wait for that. And uh, I will obviously be streaming tonight. This video will go up tomorrow um, on the 29th. So obviously the 28th is my one year anniversary on YouTube. Obviously this video is across three days. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's very confusing. But right now it's the 28th in the evening of the 28th. And I had to say something. I kind of wanted to do something more special, but I haven't really prepared for anything. And um, so, yeah, but definitely, guys, I will say something right now that around Christmas time, um, when I'm, I'm going to do a Christmas kind of theme stream, and we will be doing a giveaway in that stream. So I'll, I'll give you guys way more information for it closer to the time, closer to the time, but we will be doing that. So anyway, I'll see you guys back. No, actually, sorry. <laughs> I haven't even done any gameplay, just too much talking for now, but I need everything needed to be said there. There are some cards we need to pro, so we're going to go and pro this Lana right here. She is all done. Definitely is going to get into my Elimination Chamber deck, so needed to get that done. We've also got Tommaso Champa to do, as you guys can see as well, is also done. So we can go ahead and pro him. That's my second Beast Pro right there. I'll take it, and then of course we got our Shinsuke Nakamura, you guys saw I got a pro of him in the first part of this video, absolutely delighted about that. This Shinsuke is completely done, and I'm currently working on this one who is about halfway, yeah he is, he's definitely about halfway done. So yeah, just need to keep working on the Shinsuke and he should be done in the next video. And of course we have Tamina still to work on, again I've been debating is it worth it, is it not? For now I suppose it's worth it, unless I get like a monster female. Um, from the board. Talking about monster females, there is a couple things I need to uh, update you guys on. The first thing is, 
I got a monster female. Got it in a pack. Didn't pull it off the board before anyone uh, asks where I got it. So brilliant. I'm really happy with that actually. And Nia Jax, I'll definitely take that. She's really decent. Got some good power, good toughness. And uh, I'm a big fan of Nia. So I, I, will, I will take a Nia Jax. It could, it could have been better, granted. But uh, definitely take that. And then um, we went ahead and, uh, and did one of these. And, uh, and <laughs> yeah. Got pretty lucky, guys. You can see right there, we got a Randy, a Randy Orton Titan. So, <laughs> thank you very much, Supercard. I'll definitely be taking that. And uh, yeah, he's he's decent in the tier, very decent in the tier. He'll be uh, probably between Eddie and Ambrose. So yeah, that's how our Titans are looking. Gobbledygooker is level 70 right now. If you want to see his stats, how that's looking, and that is all the progress really on uh, on my cards. There's him. So let's lock him in. And the other one was a SummerSlam, Lana. So I have to level those two up as well. But we should have uh, should have enough food for that. Where where is Sasha? Where, I mean Lana, not Sasha. Lana, Lana, where are you? She should be, well, there, there she is, next to Samoa Joe. So Samoa Joe, I uh, really forgot about him until today. But yeah, I remember proing him um, before Season 4 came out, thinking, oh my god, he's going to make my leg, it's going to be so cool. No, doesn't matter. Literally, I could trade him away right now. This card has become so useless. Literally, this card has become so useless. The last event card, it's like, that was two weeks ago. And already, if we go have a look, guys, at my RTG deck, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still in there, but... <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, there we go then. Kane, literally, wow, there's, there's the only Undertaker's left. That's actually really sad. <laughs> there's only one Season 3 card left in it. Well, three if you count the Alexas, but wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. But there we go, guys. That's going to be it. I'll be back for Adam Cole, baby. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed so far, and I'll see you in just a GIF. Yo, guys. Um... No, you don't have to. See you, Karen. That'll be a nice one. ruined it. Yo, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the last part of today's video, guys. And I'm sorry, I did say it was going to be some team ring domination gameplay, but that has been pushed back. So, unfortunately, I'm only going to do King of the Rewards, and RD gameplay will be in tomorrow's video. I am joined by Kieran, Captain, and D2 on Discord. Yo. And I've got some very exciting news. I've just won my first Monster King of the Ring. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so <laughs> Monster and a Beast. Chances of females on both. It's it's superstar, not male. Um, predictions, guys. Who do you think I'm gonna get? Okay, I think you're gonna get a Monster Luke Harper. And okay. A beast Cesaro. Okay. You want to go for a guess, Karen? Uh, I'm going to say a monster wolf and a beast Bailey. I'd take that. Mon uh, wolf would be a pro. Uh, D2? If you get the rewards that you need, you need to get, uh, Hideo Tommy and Chris Jericho. Alright, three, two, one! Alright, so the beast is not a female, but I'm pretty sure. Could that be a pro? I'm not sure if that's a pro. Randy Orton Beast. Alright. That's not bad. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. The question is, guys, what is the monster card? Female here would be insane. If it's a, if it's a Nia Jax, I will lose my PG. <laughs> I, I really would. Oh, Who? You've got, you've got to lose your PG. Who's the monster? <laughs> Who's the monster? Three, two, and... What? Oh my god, that is a top tier pro, get in, oh yes, Seth the Rollins, get in boys, that is so worth that King of the Ring, that was such an awesome, oh I love it, I love it, Seth Rollins, yes, I'm so happy with that, I still haven't even pro Shinsuke yet, and now I've really got to work on Rollins, who is just a great card in the tier, as you guys can see, I won 3-1, again, the guy in the finals didn't energise, the guy in the semis didn't energise, the guy in the quarters didn't energise, the guy is in Raw didn't energise, and the guys in 205 Live didn't energise either, so it's literally there, the easiest King of the Ring I have ever done, I don't know how it was possible, I don't know what happened, I'm just going to be thankful they gave me a pro Seth Rollins. 
So that is literally going to be it for now, guys, for today's video, actually. A big shout out to everyone who joined on Discord. No one got any of the predictions right. Not even a wrestler. What a shame. <laughs> what a shame. Good, better luck next time. Guys, thank you for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some team ring domination. Until then, take care and peace out.